Welcome to this video on some very unique sculptures. Years ago, I was in TSC, which is Tractor Supply Company, and I spotted these disc blades. These are blades that go on a farm disc. And I thought, I can do something with these. So I bought a couple, brought them back to my shop, and started working with them. And I liked what I saw. So I went back and got some more. Now, if you're planning on entering any fine art exhibits, these exhibits require something unique. And these pieces are definitely unique. Or, if you're doing any upscale arts and crafts festivals, these would fit right in. It's not that difficult. Although, it is a lot of work. And through this video, we'll just be scratching the surface of what you can do with these farm discs. Now the main point in using the discs is that we can put them together like so and it gives us this shape here. This bellowed out shape. Very interesting shape to work with. This is a 16 inch agri disc. In other words, it's 16 inches in diameter. Has this square cutout right here, which we don't want. So I've cut a piece of 1 8 inch material that I'll be welding in there. It's got a heat sink right here. This heavy block of steel on top of these two 3 8 inch square pieces of steel. Keep it up off the table. I've turned the agri disc upside down and I'm going to fuse weld this 8 inch piece to the disc. Fuse welding is just getting, in this case, this 1 8 inch piece so that it melts and the edge of this square knockout so it melts and they just flow together. Just a tack weld, just to get it in position. I've turned the disc over and I'm going to fuse weld from the top all the way around. Hopefully, I can do that if. I need to use some filler rod. I've got some 1 16th inch RG45 filler rod right here. Here you can see that I've fuse welded the 1 8 inch piece into the square knockout. I'll be doing this on each of the discs in this series. What I'm doing right here, I've got the disc together. Got my hand down here, I'm holding them tight together. Just getting both edges of the disc so that they'll melt and flow into each other. So essentially a tack weld, just to hold it into position. And I want to do this every, oh, probably every five inches. Looks like some up there I got every three inches. Just so you go all the way around and get these fused together. And once it's all fused, I've got all these tack welds in, then I'll go back and fuse all the way around.
Now if you do happen to burn through, and that's possible because it's pretty thin on the edges. You can go back and fill in with a 1 16th inch RG45 rod. Now one difference right here is that these discs are painted. They're painted black. And the first set that I did, I found it hard to fuse these together. So for this set, I used the sander and I sanded off all the black around the edges and then on the inside edges. And that seemed to make a big difference. Much easier once the black paint was sanded off. So keep that in mind. Metal's getting red hot. It's going on into a yellow. And I'm pushing down the lever. You can see the metal just start to bubble up. Now I will cut through in some places. Now if I get too big a hole, I can fill it in with some gas welding rod. This is what you'll be seeing through your welding goggles. See when I give it some air, see how it's bubbling up. Now I'm going to let it take the torch away and it just flows back into itself. Almost looks like molten lava. Okay, I'm going to take the torch away and it just flows back into itself. Not using the cutting torch to cut, just using the flame. Every time I texture, when it's cool, I'll let the piece cool, then I'll go around with the torch and get this slag so that it just kind of flicks off. Of course, I'll wire brush this afterwards, which will take even more off. Well, that wraps it up for this video. As I said in the beginning, we're only scratching the surface of what we can do with the disc blades. But personally, I'm really excited because it's been a while since I've worked with the blades. And already I've got five new ideas that I'd like to work with. And when I do those, I know that I'll have five more because the ideas will just keep unfolding. Now, to buy the disc blades, what you're looking for is a farm store. So, if you live in the middle of the city, you go out to the suburbs, just keep going, and go right out into the country. You'll find farm stores that sell tractors, equipment, and implements. You know, you just need to get out away from the city and the suburbs. Now, here in Southern Indiana, for example, in the Midwest, we have Royal King and Tractor Supply Company. And both those companies sell online. So you can find places online where you can just order the discs. 
And incidentally, they come in different sizes. Now, 16 inch is one of the smaller sizes, and I've seen them up to 24 inch. Now, that's a little big for what we're doing here, but you might find a purpose for the 24 inch. Well, as I say, I'm excited, so stay tuned. I'm sure there's more farm disc videos in my future.